I'm from Birmingham, so in the UK, yeah. I'm from uh, Rome in Italy. Paris, France? I am from Columbus, Ohio, in the United States. Italy? I went to uh, Madame Tussaud Museum, and uh, I think that was the, as well the, the Royal Air Force Museum, you know, the, the planes from the Second World War. And I think that's it, yeah. The uh, British Museum and the, uh, the, the, is it, I, is it the British Gallery? I'm not sure. I, is, that, is that what it's called? All right, I've been there as well. <laughs> but those are the only two. It, uh, well, the, um, uh, the British Museum and I visited the, um, also, also galleries or just museums, you mean? Like the White Cube in Bermondsey, it's because I live in Bermondsey and they always make like a contemporary art exhibition. Uh, there are a lot of museums and uh, they are all free, so it's different from the other places in Italy, in Italy where you have to pay for enter the museum. Mm. Oh, everyone that is studying in France, anyone, for anyone, anyone under the age of 25 is free. So I think it's a very good system and here as well I can see that it's, uh, it's improving here. People are, the government is making tech. I, no, it's, no, it's awesome. I mean, the, the museums that I've been to in the United States uh, are like borderline unreasonably expensive. And even like, uh, like my family's from France, so I've been to France quite a bit. And like even like uh, the museums in Paris uh, are still rather expensive. And uh, I don't know, it's really nice to come here and to, to be able to have like, like, like free access to the museums. It's very nice. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's, it's really good that they are like free. I really appreciate that compared to, for instance, in Italy, you always have to pay. It depends, like there are some options where sometimes you can go for free, but usually you need to pay. However, if you want to stay there, like since the museums are quite big in London, like Victoria and Albert, for instance, if you want to stay there to have some lunch and stuff, it's very expensive. So it's like kind of balanced at the end, because at the end you won't stay in, in a museum for an hour. You will spend more time, yeah? So I think you will pay the ticket anyway, like if you want to kind of spend the day inside or at least more than five hours. For us. I think after five hours you get like hungry or you want to have a coffee or you say, I don't know, 10 quid. I don't know, I'm not saying that, but it's, it, it's also expensive yeah I think there's a huge number of uh, museums of uh, I think very well preserved very well kept and uh, very accessible so uh, the only thing is they are scattered around and you have and a fair bit of walking even if you catch the underground or the bus so you can't cover them all in one uh, uh, well, in many sessions, you need lots and lots of t visits, trips to see uh, see a few. I think they're probably the best in the world, and they're free. No, I think yeah, it's really it's really well made. I think uh, there is lots of decoration, and and uh, they are trying to to improve. And it's, it's it's yeah, it's really I think it's really good. Well, from what I've seen, it's been really nice. Like, uh, I was actually explaining to these guys that I think it's like, it's like on par with the Louvre in, in Paris, 
Um, and that, of course, is like 15 euro a person, unless you're a European citizen. Um, but with so many tourists, uh, you know, I'm, sh I'm sure I'm sure they bring in a lot of money. Um, and no, it's yeah, I, it, there, there's the quality of the exhibits is about as good as it gets in terms of what I've experienced. And I was, I'm, you know, I'm kind of interested by that because I thought that maybe the it wouldn't be as nice because it is free and maybe a little bit less uh, well maintained. But that doesn't appear to be the case, at least from what I've observed. I think London is the center of um, art, like contemporary art, and there are many like galleries and uh, institutions that promote um, art and artists. So I think it's the right place to. It's the most updated, I would say, in terms of contemporary art. I think, and then for the more traditional museums, I, I, w I would say that they're really high in also. In under the digital terms, it's very like a uh, lot of um, many digital uh, exhibitions, like you can go on the website and see many, everything is there.